Three master strategies to build strength to keep going The burn quickly crept from my legs into my arms and rapidly flooded my upper body. I gasped for air, reminding myself over and over again that I would finish the lap soon and the pain would go away. When I finished the lap and my breathing had stabilized a little, my coach had great news for me, I was about to perform another set of shadow boxing for 4 minutes and then run another lap as quickly as I could. When I finished the second lap, which was even more excruciating than the first one, there was still one more round of shadow boxing and then yet another lap of sprinting. I'm pretty sure it didn't actually look like sprinting, but more like running in slow motion. It would be so easy to slow down, act as if I was giving it my best while keeping a relatively comfortable pace. My coach wouldn't know. But I knew that I had to find strength in myself to keep going as quickly as possible, because at that's the purpose of training even if at the very moment you absolutely hate it and feel as if you're about to faint or throw up. It doesn't matter if you're training sprints, fighting against immense pain during physical rehabilitation, or feel discouraged in the face of yet another insurmountable obstacle. You build strength to keep going when you face adversity and do it anyway. However, how do you build such determination, and how do you keep it in the long term? That's what we're going to talk about in this part. Instead of giving you a long list of little tips that each make a small difference, we'll focus on three master strategies that deliver big results. When you implement them together, you'll benefit from a powerful synergistic effect. Chapter 19 develop a passion the best way to build long-term resolve is to develop a long-term passion that consistently motivates you to persist in spite of challenges when performed over the long term it will build up your reserves of mental strength while you re enjoying yourself dot being able to draw parallels between this activity and your other goals will prove to be one of the greatest assets you will be able to access to keep going dot think of it as an exercise in building a thicker skin and gaining valuable experiences that you can leverage when you face adversity while working on other goals dot I could easily draw numerous parallels between rock climbing and goal achievement and I frequently do to help me achieve my goals. Such an all-encompassing approach to developing determination will deliver the best results. You'll learn from your own experience instead of learning from a book, and I'll hope that will happen as a side effect of your passion. After facing so many stressful and uncomfortable situations on a cliff or on an indoor climbing wall, I'm now better equipped to find strength to keep going when faced with other negative circumstances. I can recall a difficult situation when climbing and translate it to the situation I'm facing right now and remind myself that I can push through it. In climbing, you often try the same route over and over again for weeks or months, always falling at the same difficult point. Then, eventually one day you succeed and progress further. Mere words can't describe the elation you have when you realize that your determination has finally paid off and the best part is that this experience helps you apply the same level of dedication to other parts of your life. 2. Sometimes you climb a route that is within your abilities, but your negative self-talk prevents you from climbing it successfully. Oftentimes, it's not about your physical performance, but your mental attitude. I once spent 20 minutes shanging on a cliff, repeatedly trying and falling on the same move, over and over again. Despite telling myself numerous times that there was no way I would be able to perform it, I finally succeeded and realized that I had been limiting my performance myself with my useless negative talk. Such experiences build new neural pathways that transform you into a new person. In my case, climbing turned me into a more determined person. I now know and experienced it firsthand over and over again that with enough attempts, and despite self-doubt, I can reach my goals. I can't overstate the importance of having such experiences yourself. It's on a thing to read about them in a book, it's a completely different thing when you experience them yourself and draw your own conclusions. Don't just gloss over these paragraphs. This is one of the most important lessons I can share with y'all when it comes to building a successful life. You need to learn through your own experiences. Exercise number 13, devote yourself find an activity that you can be passionate about over the long term. It needs to put you in situations in which you can grow your mental toughness. Ideas include, all kinds of sports, public speaking, stand-up comedy, dancing, yoga traveling. Ideally, 
your passion should require you to step outside your comfort zone on a regular basis, although writing, programming, cooking or artistic skills such as illustration, painting, or photography can also serve as valuable teachers. Here are some pointers to help you find the right activity for you one. You can easily engage in it on a regular basis. For example, surfing would not be a good choice if it takes you 5 hours to reach the coast point too. It's something that engages you physically and mentally so that you can experience the state of flow, a state of being fully immersed in the activity. Point 3. You must be able to learn life lessons from this activity and apply them to their activities. Point 4. You must believe that if you persist at it, you will get better at it. You want to stick to anything in the long term if you doubt your abilities to improve. Point 5. Tony Robbins defines addiction as a behavior, negative or positive, that meets at least three of six human needs, certainty, variety, significance connection slash love, growth, and contribution. Your activity must also meet three of those same needs. For example, if something you do makes you feel safe, meets the need for certainty, important, meets the need for significance, and loved, meets the need for connection slash love, you'll engage in it on a regular, permanent basis. It's important to note that you probably won't like this activity all the time. For example, as much as I love rock climbing, whenever I climb a hard route, I often feel like I want to stop and be safe and sound back on the ground. However, the moment I'm back on the ground or haven't been climbing for a couple of days I feel the need to do it again. That's a great example of something I'm devoted to, even though it's often so challenging I want to stop. Reading books won't be a good candidate for this particular use because it is t super challenging, unless you want to read the world's most boring book, and neither will watching TV series. You must see this activity as a vehicle for rapid and significant personal growth. If you already have such an activity in your life, good for you. Think of at least five difficult situations you faced when performing this activity and how you overcame them. Even something as mundane as hitting the golf ball in a completely wrong direction, but then still winning the game thanks to persistence, can become a great metaphor to help you reach other goals. In addition to learning valuable lessons you can apply to other goals, a long-term passion teaches you good old work ethics and determination. Nowadays, few people are able to dedicate themselves to something over the long term. Commitments and promises are no longer seen as sacrosanct. People love the rush of trying one new thing after another without ever becoming well familiarized with something. When you devote yourself to a certain activity and it becomes a long term passion, you will stick to it no matter what happens. It will be too hard to break the habit just because you no longer feel like doing it. Such a devotion to a passion is a powerful master strategy to encourage positive mindset changes, build grit, and grow you as a person. I consider it a must-have for people who want to achieve their full potential.